Welcome back to Family Trainer slash Active Life Outdoor Challenge and today's video is a guide to the challenge medals in the game where I'll cover what the system is, how the categories are broken down, medal levels, rewards, the challenge map and a few tips and tricks for getting some. Challenge medals are essentially an in-game achievement system so this game does feature a lot of different medals to guide your workouts and incentivize you to keep replaying the games. Let's kick things off with how to access the medals. The first time you can access them is once you've created and selected a character. You can also access this during normal menus in the game by pressing the same thing. From here, you'll see the blank backgrounds of the medals you don't have and the medals you do have. Each medal describes what your achievement was and if you don't have it, it gives a sometimes clear, sometimes cryptic clue about how to unlock that medal. There are a total of 100 medals in the game. You'll notice a variety of different categories designated by the different colour backgrounds. These are generally separated by mode or method of obtaining them. That might not be clear, but you'll get it once I go through them. Starting with the reddish-brown ones at the top, I'm calling these General Medals. These 10 encompass general things in the game like checking your personal data, changing your outfit, collecting amounts of badges, and one for just working out, which is literally a participation medal. It's very fancy, and quite simple if not long-winded to work out how to get the medals. Next is the blue section, which also consists of 10 medals and is all about the outdoor adventure mode. There are medals here for getting the highest title, outdoor master for each adventure course, including the unlockable courses. There's also a medal for trying different difficulties of challenge. My working theory here is that this is essentially completing all the courses as they have some repeated areas with different difficulties, but I'm not entirely sure on that, so don't quote me on that. Next is the green section for exercise training mode. There are 15 here for tasks like completing each exercise training mode 10 times, collecting a whole bunch of athletic points, as well as completing each exercise course in one single day. Finally, the last and biggest medal section is the lighter brown colour one, which contains specific medals for each minigame. There are four basic medals per minigame. Three medals for achieving certain tasks in that game, which can be anything from playing it a certain amount of times, to completing an action perfectly a certain number of times in a row, to finding shortcuts in certain levels. And then the last medal for each section is for getting the other three, which also rewards you with an award that goes next to that minigame in free play mode, so you know you've conquered it. So that covers the sections of each of the 100 medals, but there is a bit more to it as well. Certain medals have multiple levels, which are told by the star at the bottom of the medal. The first you get for each one is the base level, represented by one star. If there are additional levels, it can go up to three. So for example, Pipe Slider has a medal based on accelerating for a certain amount of speed in the level. It starts at 60 for the first medal, but then it jumps up to 120 and 180 for levels two and three. Mole Madness has one for beating 100 moles, and then 500 and 1000. If the medal has additional levels, you can tell by holding the cursor over the medal, and then after a few seconds the text will fade away and display the requirements for the next level. Now, you may have noticed earlier I said about the general section having medals for collecting a certain amount of medals. This is essentially a progress reward system. The first reward comes at 10 medals, which gives another medal, then it's 30, 60, 90, and 99. These each reward a new medal, which is obviously very good in your quest for completion, and from 30 up, your avatar gets a medal hanging around their neck as a mark of progress. It's a really cool touch and really makes you feel like a champion. At time of writing, I only have a bronze medal for 30, but I'm assuming you get silver and gold for 60 and 90 respectively. As for getting all 100, I guess time will tell. There's also a challenge map, which is accessed by pressing the plus button, which displays your medal rewards and gives a progress bar. By pressing the Y button, you can also see the medals that hang around your character's neck. That covers how the system works as far as I've been able to find out. I figured I'd end this video then with four tips and tricks for a few of the medals that I've found so far. Firstly, the first medal in the list is for getting all the other medals. Think of it like a platinum trophy on a PlayStation, so it's a funny first but final situation. Secondly, for Seesaw Battler, the Golden Crocodile Medal. As far as I've seen, this is random. So once you knock someone else into the water, the Golden Crocodile might splash up with the water, which then rewards you with the medal. As far as I'm aware, amount of turns doesn't affect anything, amount of wins doesn't affect anything, it seems random. I am still investigating that. Next, using exercise training mode to get some of the minigame specific challenges is really good in the long run for the simple fact that you need to complete each exercise training mode 10 times for its medal. So if you're playing for the completion anyway, you might as well use this to knock out the medals from other games. The final tip is for the outdoor master medals. You only need to get it in one of the adventure courses to get the basic medal. There seem to be other levels on this medal for repeating that feat of getting Outdoor Master, but again, you can repeat this on the same level. So if you find one particularly tough, just repeat the one that you can do well, okay? 
So what do you think of the challenge medals? Personally, I'm really happy that there is a system like this in the game to come back and play as it really makes you want to explore all the game has to offer. I also think the Switch should have achievements, but that's just me. Anyway, what do you think? Let me know in the comments and if I've missed something, please let me know. Thanks for watching as always and remember to like, share, subscribe for more family trainer content incoming. I've been Master Trainer Peter and I will see you soon.